Hi everyone, I'm here to do a little video on some wax melt empties, some near empties, and a couple other favorite things that I'm working on. So this is a melt that I just finished by Britta's Jason. This was so unbelievably magnificent. Hipster, roasted pine cone, vanilla bean, and marshmallow. I have, I bought a bunch of Jason. My daughter loved it. Hipster and roasted pine cone together are so, I don't know what the hipster oil is. It's, I guess, a very complex oil. I love Britta's. Britta and I chat now and then about scary movies and scary series, and she's just delightful. But her wax is so fantastic. Britta's Creepy Treasures. Love that, Jason. I'm working on this Ava's Country Cupboard Strawberry French Toast. I have one of these cute little rugged bumpy pieces um that the other one is pink uh going in my bedroom warmer this is really strong and ba bakery french toasty strawberry ish i just finished this clam of pumpkin chai which was very good very strong i also finished finally this churro churro which was very nice and this scent shot cup of dessa's coffee and donuts Rich coffee and sweet glazed donuts. I love Dessa's. I got out my Christmas ones recently and can't wait to start going on some of those. I just finished this um, sort of like six pieces, eight pieces of Destination Wax Jelly Cronut. Flaky, buttery, croissant donut filled with blackberry, raspberry. This is so, so good. Oh my God. Oh. I, have a, I have a loaf of this and I missed the RTS. So I got to get my hands on more though. If you've not tried Destination Wax's Jelly Cronut, that is exceptional. I finished some Ava's Country Cupboard Coffee House Crunch. That was very good and very strong. I like coffee blends in my kitchen. I just finished this nice couple pieces of Autumn in Salem by Vintage Chic. Pumpkin donuts dusted with cinnamon sugar. This was awesome. This I found some melts from last year I forgot I had. So I cut this up and put this all over the house. It was so great. I just finished this uh, snap bar of Lurid Apothecary, Elvira, Mac Apple, Maple and Spices, and Vanilla Cream. This was so good. I hope that she'll come back and, and strike up her business again. I know she's got some family stuff going on, but her stuff is just so fantastic. Got a little piece of Rainbow Melt, Strawberry Soda, and Volcano. I got this in a, in a D-stash. Um, very nice. Very good, strong. These two are from the L3 Halloween Advent, which was so much fun. It was so cool to wake up at each day and have some little cute package to get to open. What what am I going to melt that day? She did 13 days um, starting on October 19th that led up to the last one on Halloween night. And these there were so many good ones. Here's These are a couple. Chocolate Amber Vanilla Patchouli. And this one was Voodoo Nights Flannel Type. Pumpkin Apple Bath and Body Works type Shea White Woods. This look at that cool label. All of her advents, let alone all her wax, was really super strong and good. Of course, I'm working on this souffle. That's this mangled souffle of Crispy Dream by Teddy Bees. This is so good. Warm powdered donut, cinnamon sugar donut, old fashioned cake donut, burnt sugar and toasty campfire donut. I love this. I think I have another souffle of it. I hope I do. This was just dreamy. So I got a little piece left in there. I finished this clam of Super Tarts Bra, which is creme brulee, pumpkin donuts, and gingerbread cookie cookies, which is very, very good. Very nice. And what else do we have here? I have three clams that I just finished of Dexter Pores. She moved to Japan for three years, so had to close her business, and I'm happy for her, but very sad as well, because I love, love her wax. This is pumpkin eggnog, pumpkin cheesecake blended into creamy eggnog. That's a good one. I have another clam I finished of Strawberry Dream. This is just some extra wax I poured in there. Um, strawberry pound cake, zucchini bread, cream cheese frosting. This is one of my very favorite strawberry zucchini blends ever. Coconut shortbread and cookies. Shaved coconut melted butter, milk, sugar, freshly baked shortbread cookies. This was so lovely and scrumptious. What else do we have? I have, um, I'm working on another favorite vendor of mine. 
Honey Soda Co. This is Tinsel, which is another roasted pine cone blend. Roasted pine cone, spearmint, eucalyptus, and vanilla bean Noel. There, it's like a, a couple little Christmas houses, so I have one piece left. If you've not tried Honey Soda Co., she does candles as well. Really strong and good on warm and on cold and warm. Very wonderful. She's also on Instagram, but give her a try. Um, another very favorite. And what else do I have here? A couple lip balms that I'm working on because I was obsessed with lip balm before I moved over to Wax Melts. Um, this is by a, a vendor on Etsy called um, Lipsest. And this is sugar cookie cheesecake. Her lip balms are jumbos. They're big and um, they're magnificent. Um, they're sweetened and this tastes and smells like a really rich, yummy sugar cookie. Another vendor that I love, she's on Etsy, Sweet Lips Lip Balm Company. I I don't know what I did to this label. I think I spilled hot wax on it. But this is apples and peanut butter. This is just so yummy as well. Christine's a friend of mine, and I absolutely adore her lip balm. And this is by Owl and Oak Beauty. And this one is another favorite flavor of mine, brown sugar biscotti. So these three vendors, they do small lip balms as well as jumbos, but I like the jumbos so that I don't lose them. They're easier to find in my purse, and they do all kinds of stuff throughout the season. Another uh, favorite lip balm of mine, um, I don't know that she's even doing lip balm anymore, is Berkshire Bathory, and this one's Groovy Baby, um, after that character that that guy, whatever his name is, did. But this is like a British cool little label, and I came with this kind of thing to swing your lip balm around in or whatever a handle for it and this is like a um, a cranberry orange scone it's very rich and buttery and you can have that cranberry orange um, flavor and all these lip balms are sweetened I don't like lip balms that are not sweetened and they are wonderful and made with um, they're mostly made with beeswax and let's see Beeswax and cocoa butter and shea butter is what's in most of these with some sweetener. But I love those. So that's my pile. I did a video all over again just now because I forgot a couple that were off to the side. So I did it over again so that I could share the joy with you all. So have a wonderful weekend and thank you very much for watching. My Instagram, sorry, my YouTube channel. I'm a newbie at doing videos, so bear with me. My YouTube channel is Minaret1230. But thank you again so much, you guys, and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.